Hey y'all, I'm here today with another plan with me and this week I am using the watercolor geometric kit from Evie Lou & Co. And this is an older kit, it is, it is an older format. And I got this back in I think January or February and I just held on to it until August because there are a lot of there's a lot of pinks and blues but there are a lot of grains and then there's some very small bits of yellow as well that I thought would go good with the August colors so it just comes with this page that has the weekend banner, some functional icons, some bill do, payday, stickers, a date night heart, some heart some, some dots that have hearts on the side and then just some regular dots, some labels, some half boxes and then some three heart ombre checklist and then another label down here. And then the sheet that has today header or to do headers today and then some random different headers like, like sidebar headers or you can even use them in the middle of your spread, some single heart checklist, one ombre heart checklist, some flags, a couple more half boxes, a couple of full boxes, and then I picked up the sheet that has six full boxes because when I picked, or not when I picked up, when I bought this kit, all of her stuff was a la carte. Now it come, now her kits come in either a full size kit or a mini kit but when I bought this kit I picked up all of the a la carte items I picked up the full boxes because there were only two in the main kit so I picked up the rest of the full boxes the little bits so it just had these are kind of like your little things, so you have hearts, TVs, a couple of presents, a garbage can, meal, meal icons, a wine glass, a dollar bill, a couple of mail stickers, a ticket, and then a couple of clocks, and then the, the little bit headers. And then the ombre heart checklist, and then the bottom washi. And all of these pages are glossy so I am going to like always get started with my hydrate labels and I just have these from the hydrate scribble the printable hydrate scribble prints label so I'm going to put these down first and then I will be back okay now I have all of the hydrate labels down I am going to go in with the bottom washi and I turned the brightness down on the camera just because I think you might be able to see it a little bit better so if it looks a little darker now that is why but I am just going to put down the bottom washi and I am a little nervous because this is glossy but I am just going to take my time and putting this down and hope not to mess up too much. That went on pretty well so hopefully I can put the next side on without messing up. And both of those happen to go on pretty well and I think I am going to put down the other washi too just to kind of raise up or not raise up but take up some more space since I plan on doing this no white space. So 
now that I have that in, I am going to go in with my to-do headers. So I'm just going to grab all of these. And I'm going to put them down all the way across the top. And these colors work really well with the, like the colors in the kit, work well with the August Erin Condren colors, but this kit would also have looked good in the 2017 Erin Condren colors with the, the colorful version, not the neutral, because even though the colorful has the watercolor through the at least from the pictures that I've seen I don't have actually have I don't actually have the planner but the colors the yellow and the 2017 Erin Condren would look good with these colors and excuse me with these colors in here so now I am going to take the full heart ombre checklist and I'm just going to line them up all across the page matching up the color of the ombre box to the color of the header and I know I mentioned the washi in this kit was glossy but I don't know if I mentioned that everything else in the kit was glossy too and her glossy actually feels really nice and I've used both of her matte stickers and her glossy stickers And I think now all of her kits are glossy, but I'm not positive on that. But I know back whenever I ordered this kit, you had the option of choosing matte stickers or glossy stickers. So now that I have all of my checklists down, I'm going to go in with the Today headers. Again, grabbing all of these. And I'm just going to put them across the second row headers right under the check boxes. And again, putting them with the same color as the to do header and the check box. I can tell some of these checklists got a little crooked, but because it is glossy and I don't have any undo, I am not going to try and peel up the sticker because I'm too afraid it is going to tear my page. But they're only off by a little bit, nothing I need to be too concerned with. So now that I have all of the headers down, I am going to do the full boxes. So I have the six here and then the two right here. And I think I am going to do, I'm going to take the two hexagons. Stay down, sticker. I'm going to take the two hexagons and put one on Friday and one on Tuesday. That way I have those spread out. And then I'm going to, I think, I'm going to take this one. 
and put it up in the corner. And that actually went on pretty straight. And then the weekend banner has all of the colors in it. So I think I am going to take this one and this one and put them on the and put them on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, that one a little crooked, but that is okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the weekend banner and put that down as straight as I can with the K in the middle. There we go. And then I'm just going to take the other three boxes and put them on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I think I'm going to take this one and put it on Wednesday. And then this one on Thursday, and then the last one will go on Monday, and that is all of the full boxes on this page that is used up. Okay, now that I have all of those down, I am going to go in with my little things, or little bits, and I'm just going to take all of the meal planning stickers okay come on and I'm just going to put them all across the bottom And then I liked how, because I added in the second piece of washi, it took up a lot more space down at the bottom, so I don't have to put as many stickers down to cover up all of the white space. Okay, and then I am going to grab the four TV shows, if I can grab them. Okay, come on, sticker. There we go. And then I'm going to put one on Tuesday for Pretty Little Liars. And then one on one on when Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, for Big Brother, and then also Thursday and Sunday. And then I am going to put down, grab the two package stickers, or not package, but mail stickers, and I'm going to put one on Tuesday for my nature box, and then I'm going to put one on Saturday, and then I'm going to take the, I can grab it. I'm going to take the little garbage can and put that on Thursday as well because that is our recycle day and also our garbage day too. And then I am going to take 
two hearts and I'm going to put one on Thursday and one on Saturday and those will be for my two videos that are going up and I'm going to use one of my play button icons on Monday to mark the video there but I think that is everything for my little bit so I am just going to put in the headers all across the littles and then now that I have all of this done I am going to go in with my um, sidebar. So I am going to grab my habit tracker stickers. Do, 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 do. I'm actually going to take one of the Planner Kate habit trackers and I am going to grab, I'm going to do the screen one. So I'm just going to put it right up there and then I'm going to grab the sneakers from the Paperly Boutique. And I'm going to grab this yellow, kind of mustardy yellow color and put that right in the middle. And this is to track my workouts. And I'm now I'm going to take the, I think I'm just going to do the solid color dots and just put these all down. the side of the sidebar. And I kind of like how big these dots are. And I just need five dots. Okay, and now that I have all of those down, that is my workout section. And then I'm going to take I'm going to take a goals header and then the last blue ombre heart checklist and I'm going to put the goals header down first let me see if I can move this over a little bit and then as straight as I can put this ombre heart checklist down Okay, and now I am going to take the, instead of using my three heart checklist, I'm going to take the to clean header and then I'm going to take the pink box and I'm, or not pink box, pink ombre three heart ombre checklist and put this down 
on Wednesday and then I am going to take the blue heart and the Dubai sticker and put that on Friday but first I am going to grab a small piece of washi just to kind of break up the blue and that is my to buy section and then now I am going to grab my play button icons and this blue I am going to put down right here and it almost matches the blue in the kit perfectly but it is a little bit different So now I am going to take will one of these labels fit. No, I still need a little piece of washi. Okay, that is not little, that is big. Here is a little piece of washi. I'm just going to put this down here and then put the label right there and then I'm going to take one of my scales from a Cricut Paper Co and I'm going, I'm going to take this green color which it doesn't match but it goes with the green and the kit And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of these spaces and, but first I'm actually going to take a half box and put that on Sunday, not covering up a little bit header. So I have that down and then I'm, this is going to mark my filming of the next plan with me and then I'm just going to take some washi and fill in the blank spaces throughout the rest of the days. And then Tuesday is the last one I need to fill up. Okay, there we go. And then Actually, first I'm going to fill in the space down here and then I'm not even going to cover up that little bit of green because it kind of matches the rest of the spread. So now I am going to take my Sweet Kawaii Design Itty Bitty Wash Hair Stickers and I'm going to take the purple ones because they're there are little bits of purple like in the hexagons and really in all the full boxes there just aren't or there isn't any purple in the headers or checklist or anything like that but I'm going to take one and put it on Wednesday and then I'm going to put the other one on Sunday and then I have my 
celebrate the day itty bitty stickers also from sweet kawaii design and the 12th is vinyl record day the 13th is national what does this say it is national garage sale day it's on the 13th and then I think all the other ones are for the rest of the weeks in August so I think this is it for this week's spread if you liked it you can hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this and you're not already subscribed you can subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all next time. Bye!